the main purpose of why lightning rods were created is to be able to channel the energy and power of lightning without it being destructive. So therefore, it grounds it out into the earth. And lightning does have power. It's an electrical power. It can be destructive. And we're here, if we are here to be spiritual lightning rods, then the purpose of that is to be a conduit for higher power. We already all have power inherent, natural to us, each one. Even if you feel powerless and like there's no impact, you have power over your experience. You have power over your expression. You have power over your life. And so with that power, the question is, does it ever come through destructive? Because not everyone can be a spiritual lightning rod. We all have the potential. We all have the capacity. Universal law, there's equal opportunity. We don't have to fight to have the opportunity to be a spiritual lightning rod, but it takes work. It takes each person doing the work within themselves. And that's a work of purification. Have you ever, can, can we find the space within ourselves that has been so purified that our actions cannot cause harm? That our words will no longer hurt ever? That the thoughts may never judge? That our emotionals, our emotions don't spill over into the place? All these things can be destructive. Many are called, but few are chosen. So who's chosen to be this spiritual lightning rod? And there will be many of us. It's not a cosmic lottery. The choosing happens within oneself. We choose to do the work of purifying all of those spaces. And I believe that work is done within the heart. See, the heart in its primal state is our pure connection point to the divine spirits of love. It is the seat of the soul. It is that connection to the higher spirit, to divine love. But over time, and that's primal, that's like when we're born, that's the essence of it. Over time, we live through life and we start picking up perceptions and beliefs, ideas and paradigms that operate out of separation and fear. And that creates emotions in turn that begin to layer on top of the heart. And when we hurt, we have a tendency to hurt, unconsciously or not. So we have purification work to do within ourselves, within the heart, to find those spaces that are holding energy, thoughts, beliefs that are limiting, that come from a space so that we can clear all that out, so we can be a pure space for divine love to run through and ground into this earth. Because despite whatever perceptions there might be to the contrary, despite whatever reports we might hear from the world, the human race is awakening and ascending in consciousness. The choice has already been made collectively within the mass mind of humanity. And all of creation is calling forth for each one of us to do our work and step into the space of being that spiritual lightning rod that can ground out the high heavenly powers and begin to transform our world. 
May we take anything that's within us that could be anything less than pure love, pure response to love, transmute it, purify it within ourselves so that we can stand in the space of service to the enlightenment of our race. It is each of our destiny, but we do have to choose it.